Hey everybody, it's Gina back in the kitchen. Today we are making something a little bit different, sort of, um, in this pan. I have some chicken, one piece of chicken that I've already cooked. It's so uh, boneless, skinless chin, chicken breast one. Um, we are going to make uh, New Orleans pasta. I've got bow tie going on the back eye. That just went in, so when that's done, we'll drain it and we'll put it in. We also are going to put in, since the chicken's already done, we're going to put in our broccoli that we're adding to this, so we've got some veg going with this. We are also putting in some extra small shrimp, pre-cooked, deveined, tail off, no shell, and some turkey smoked sausage that has been cut up. We're just going to kind of heat this stuff up. Um, since it's already cooked, we just want it heated up. We don't want to, you know, burn anything, but we do, we do want it nice and warmed up. Because obviously you want to have hot food if you're going to have hot food. And... While we're standing here, I always try to wipe everything down really well as I go. Y'all know me. I'm a person that will wipe down things as we go. If I can. Uh, so, this was called New Orleans Pasta. This was something I had while I was out of town um, due to having to go to the funeral that I had to be at recently, so, uh, anyway, we had gone out, uh, to a place down where I was at, and they had this on the menu, and I thought it sounded good, and I tried it, it was really, really good, so I said, when I get back, I'm going to try to make this. It was just one of those things. And basically it was either bow tie or penne pasta with the chicken, the smoked sausage. They probably used on duty. Um, they had shrimp. Um, they also used Alfredo sauce and Creole seasoning. I'm just using the Walmart brand. This is a great value brand. Uh, Alfredo sauce. And yeah, I can still pop the jars and stuff. And I've already taken off the inner little seal on that. Now, I talked to someone who had already tried it. They said that theirs was, they believed it to be a little bit on the spicy side. You cannot get food really, really spicy. As a general rule for me, I like really spicy food. Now, there are some things that are hot, even for Gina. But um, this was what I consider to be an exceptionally mild um, thing, but it tasted really good, so I thought I would try this for me and the hubs and stuff when I got home, because I was sure he'd probably like it, anything with pasta he generally will eat and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, and if y'all want to know where I tried the food at, it was at Cheddar's. And it was very good. So, uh, for those of you who all um, have a Cheddar's near you and you like things with like Creole spice on it, try the New Orleans pasta. It's good. For those of you who all don't live like near a Cheddar's, which I don't personally live near Cheddar's. The only time I get it is if I'm out of town to go see people but um, if you have an opportunity to stop at one and try the food everything I've had from there has been very good so just to let y'all know I've not had bad experience I'm sure that someone somewhere has but my experiences there have been fine so I'm just kind of stirring everything around here, y'all. I'm not doing an overabundance of pasta in this one. I'm trying to get it mostly 
with the broccoli and the meat and the stuff in it. Um, anyway, Y'all, I'm tired. I'm really tired. This is Tuesday, so that means I just got back Saturday night, and I'm still tired. It is a heck of a long ride, y'all. It really is. And yeah, that's Uncle Si on my shirt. I love Uncle Si. He's a crazy redneck, and well, I'm another crazy redneck, I guess, if that's what you want to call me. I'm Southern. I've been called a little bit of everything. Hillbilly, redneck, uh, white trash, you name it, I've been called it because of where I grew up, y'all. And if you called me a hillbilly, uh, technically you would be correct because my part of my family is from the, the hills up in the mountains. So, you would be not be far off for a miss in that one. And I'm a semi-educated redneck, okay, y'all? I am. I have not got a master's degree. Although I do have a post-PhD work in buttholery sometimes. Um, that one comes out. But I do have a college degree. So, there's nothing wrong with being an educated person if that's your goal and ambition in life. If it is not your goal or ambition in life to do it, don't do it. You know, don't believe it. Trade school is good for some people, I'll tell you that much. I've seen some people that go to trade school and they are some. They, if you know a trade, you can make good money. So, just saying. You don't think college is your thing? Think about trade school. Something where you can learn a vocation and make, still make some decent money. Alright, this is looking pretty good here. So we're going to go ahead and add part of this jar of sauce. I don't need the whole thing. I asked my husband tonight, I said, baby, you got any ideas for dinner? He's like, no, just cook whatever you want. I'm like, I need an idea. So... Since I had to generate the idea tonight, this is what they're getting. Don't tell me to come up with an idea when I'm tired because you may or may not want what I make. But if you don't know, oh well, that ain't my problem. I cooked it for you. All right. So far, y'all, this is looking good. Like I said tonight, it is jarred sauce. Yes, I do know how to make fettuccine sauce from scratch. I have done it um, quite a bit. It's not hard. It's just that I'm tired. And when I'm tired, I don't. Last thing I feel like doing is standing and doing extra stuff. So, with the sauce and everything, it's starting to look like that. Y'all know what cooked pasta looks like, I am sure. So, and I kind of um, got y'all to the point here tonight where I was already getting the stuff in. The stuff that needed to be cooked up was already cooked. Now, except for like eating up. Now, broccoli was not cooked. I kind of froze that. I up and froze it before I left. Now, I'm going to start adding in my Creole seasoning here. And it's not necessarily, it's like however much you want. This is one of those things you can alter. You can alter how much of this you put in there. This is just the, the Walmart Creole sauce. Or Creole seasoning, I guess. All I know is when I tasted it at Cheddar's, it was so good that I knew I would have to come home and try to make it myself because I really 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 liked it and stuff so 
Oh yeah, that's smelling really good, y'all. Like really good. And I do like a lot of different styles of food, including uh, Creole food. So, you know, like gumbo, jambalaya, that kind of stuff. I do like that stuff. I don't often make it homemade, but oh well. All right, I'm going to get this ready and get the pasta and show y'all what we got. All right, y'all, we've got this done. I went ahead and put the pasta down in there, and as you can see, you know, it's got everything in there. Um, you can add salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese, any of that stuff that you want onto there once it's done. Anyway, that's what's for dinner tonight. Um, just something for a little bit of a different flair for the channel. Um, as always, if you haven't already, consider clicking like, subscribe, it's free, and if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. And as always, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.